Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would take you along to do some Christmas shopping. I really need to get started. I know we're only midway through November, but my husband is doing a lot of late shifts and night shifts coming up at the end of November and in December. So I thought I would take advantage of the days that he is around and also the days that he's doing early shifts to watch the kiddies. So I thought I would take you along with me to see what we could find. Um, I would like to pick up a couple of extra Christmas decorations and I really need to get started in some Christmas shopping. So I thought I would take you guys along, have a look inside, see what we can find. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So let's go.
it's actually the next day. I didn't manage to film what I actually picked up at the shops yesterday as the kids haven't been feeling too great. So I got home and I fed them, bathed them and put them to bed and kind of just passed out on the couch. So yeah, that's our little kitten. Sorry, excuse if you hear any noise, that's what she's doing. She's running around crazy. So I just thought I would quickly show you what I managed to pick up at the range B&M and Home Bargains. I also did nip into Asda and Aldi which I didn't film, but I've got a couple of things which I can show you what, what we got there. So the first shop I did nip into was The Rain. I picked up this sign, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's the Christmas rules. It's like a wooden, um, it's like a wooden board or whatever you'd like to call it, a slate or something like that. It was only £4.99, which I think is an absolute bargain. And I thought it'd be a really good addition to our decorations that we have for the house here. So I bought that for £4.99. Pick up, which I think I showed you in some of the clips with some Christmas cards. So I just picked up one packet. This is 10 of the Christmas cards. This was a pound. I also picked up some school Christmas cards for my little girl to take to her nursery. So it does come with two larger cards which we can hand into the teachers and the rest are little designs. I thought they were really cool. So there's um, four different designs in there and two larger designs. So she can hand them out to all her nursery friends. I got this gift bag, <laughs> which I'm honest, I don't actually know who I'm giving it to or what it's going to be for. But I just loved it. I just love traditional looking things and I just thought it looked really, really Christmassy. And to me, this is Christmas. So I picked that up. So that was only 79 pence, I think. And I also got my daughter the frozen chocolate advent calendar, which was one pound. So I thought that was a really good deal. However, I think it was B&M and Aldi I nipped into and they had it for 89 pence. So I know it's only 11 pence, but you can get it cheaper at Aldi um, if that's obviously what you'd like to do so but a pound that's not too bad anyway so that was my range the next shop I nipped into after that was B&M so it's a little wooden board that can hang on your wall this was £3.99 picked up some Christmas paper which is so exciting I just love it I just think it's really really Kelly hello <laughs> stop making noise you play me your toys Wrapping paper was only a pound, which I thought was really good. And it's 12 metres long. So, I mean, I don't know how obviously good a quality it'll be, but do you know, I thought it was worth a try. We have a secret Santa in my husband's side of the family. So I thought even if we end up using it for that, that's cool. So I really like that. I picked up this activity pack, which I thought was really good for my daughter because she's really into sort of her stickers and her colouring and writing and learning to write her name and everything like that. So that was only a pound, which again, bargain in my opinion. Um, so she'll be really excited about that. I did tell her that I had something, but I never showed her it. So I thought I'll pull that out in December and we can do some Christmas crafts. I picked up this, which I think is absolutely brilliant. This is a letter from Santa. So I thought that when the elf comes down on December 1st, he can bring this letter from Santa that says that she's been a very good girl and that she can have some presents this year, which I just, I thought it was a really nice touch. That was only a pound, so I picked that up for her. And also I have got the Letter to Santa pack, which I picked up last year and it was brilliant. It was perfect, it had everything she needed in it. She loved writing her letter last year. So yeah, picked up some candy canes because we can never have enough candy canes in this house. We got the Frosted Berry, which we haven't tried before, so we got them. So they were a pound and obviously your classic peppermint. So I'll probably end up buying more, but that'll do just now. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love these. These are baby novelty socks, which... I just thought they were so cute and I showed them to my son and he started to try and grab them, I think, because of the rattle. So these were £3.99, which I think is all right. A pair of socks for him for over the festive period. So I'm probably going to put them on him very soon. And then I picked up a couple of little stocking fillers for my daughter. So that obviously I have mentioned before that she's obsessed with Frozen. So I got her this Frozen brush, which was only a pound. <laughs> Can't wait. I got um, some hair clips. So she's really loving like doing things with her hair at the moment. So I got her some hair clips which come with some braided braids on them. So they were only a pound, so I thought that was a good stocking filler. And then a classic toothbrush, which you can't not have in your stockings. So this was again a frozen. And this was a this is gonna be her first electric toothbrush. This was only £3.99, I think. So I thought that was really good as well. That is what I bought at BM. I also bought a couple of things for my craft video, but again I will show you them in another video. The home bargains. I have picked up a little elf. So this is obviously going to come back down on December 1st from Santa. So I thought he was really cute. And he was only £1.99, which I've seen them a lot of other places and they are quite expensive. So I thought obviously £1.99 was really good. Eventually, Mr Elf might come back with um, wired arms so he can do really creative things. But my daughter's only three, so I thought he was absolutely perfect. 
and a perfect present from Santa to watch down on Aria over Aria and Colt over uh, Christmas periods. I also picked up this Santa's envelope. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to actually do with it, but I don't know. I thought it was really cute. This was like 99 pence. Hanging decoration. I might pop it up in Aria's bedroom just for something for her to, I don't know, feel Christmassy. So I bought that. I bought this notebook as well, which I thought was really good. So £1.69, I think. It's good for me to do some meal planning from Christmas shopping lists. A bit of everything really so that was um home bargains i don't think i actually bought anything else from there it was just a quick nip in as it was getting a little bit later in the day so that's what i picked up from there um so the other shops i went to like i said was asda and aldi which i didn't film so aldi i nipped in to grab a couple of things for some dinner um last night and i found these assorted ribbons which i thought were really good just to tie up some presents and also potentially for some christmas crafts so i thought i'd throw them in so that was one pound 29 and I love hanging my Christmas cards on my wall as display and I used to put a piece of ribbon from one side of the wall to the other and obviously the cards sitting along that. So I found these pegs, which I don't know, I just thought they were absolutely brilliant. These, it comes with the um, rope in there as well. And then obviously it's got 12 pegs. So I just bought two packets because we like to hang all our Christmas cards. And I actually think that really adds to your decorations when you've got them hanging on the wall. So for one ninety nine, I thought they were really cute. Finally, the shop I went to was Asda. Now, this advent calendar is... I'll show you it properly in a minute, but this was £10. She absolutely loves to read. We read to her every single night, usually about two books a night. She always tries to start on 10 books, but we managed to barter her down to two. So I bought this for her. Open it up. Just move a couple of things. If you open it up, I've not displayed this very well, have I? 24 mini Disney books, which she can open one per day and we can read that night. So I don't know, I just thought it was really good. She loves to read, like I said. So I thought maybe she could open her chocolate calendar in the morning in December and then leave this one till just before bed. And then it's something exciting to read in the lead up to Christmas. And it's got so many different stories on it. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So it's got a list of the little books there. Um, I did see another one that had a different look to the to the book cover in Ho uh, Hobbycraft, sorry, and it was £14.99, so I'm not 100% sure what the difference is or whether it was the same one, just a little bit more expensive, but I bought that for £10. I've been eyeing it up for a couple of weeks, so only like three left on the shelf, so I just grabbed it in case obviously they went out of stock with that. Back to being obsessed with Frozen, I bought this for my daughter to put on her Christmas tree. We love ornaments that really mean something, and I thought this was really special because Frozen was actually one of the, the films that I saw when I lived in Canada and I loved it and the fact that my daughter loves it is really good. This is from Frozen 2, I think, which we're going to go and see in a couple of weeks um, with my brother's girlfriend. So she's really looking forward to that. So I bought that, £1.50, which I thought was really good. I bought these Christmas glasses, which, oh my goodness, I love them so much. 75 pence, I think. They were reduced from £1.50. So I was definitely going to pick them up for that. So I picked up two, possibly go back for more. I'm not 100% sure yet. And of course, the final item is a frozen water bottle for Aria. This was £3 from Asda. I thought this was a really good deal as well. I was tempted just to give her it because she's really needing a new water bottle, but I also might just keep it and give her it at Christmas. I'm not 100% sure yet. So that's pretty much everything I bought. Like I said, I did nip into Hobbycraft to pick up some craft items for a DIY Christmas gift video that I have coming up. So look out for that on my channel in the next week or so. That's pretty much it. So I hope that you enjoyed my little come along and shop with me video. If you did, please make sure you like it and subscribe down below. And I will catch you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.